Welcome to EnvironmentSmith. Today I'll be providing a tip for the Hammer editor of the Source 2 engine. Worked on something in Source 1 and wanted it in this new engine? Here's how you do it. First, click Open. Then, change the file type to Source 1.0 map files. Click on the map you want, then let it load. After that, the map should be converted. If you haven't ported textures and models over, there will be errors and the old brushes will be red and see-through. Like in Source 1, you can get rid of the errors by changing what the prop models should be. The red see-through brushes are not broken, but instead lack the required textures to display. As such, applying any texture will fix it. If you did port over models and textures, they will populate the map automatically. You can port models and textures over after you've converted the map. They will still populate the map automatically. You might notice some assets already there, such as no draw, trigger, the various clips, and some models. These are usually assets that Valve use in base Half-Life Alex. Most light types will be converted to their equivalent versions. Same with flatters and path underscore tracks, and various other special objects and entities. Some entities, though, including old brush entities, will have varying levels of usability in Source 2. Some entities in general, such as point underscore spotlight, are outright considered obsolete. Hopefully this helps, and happy editing!